Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys, we are flying out the MiG-23 MLD today to talk a little bit about if it deserves the R-73 or not guys, so I have some points to go through with it, the first one is obviously the BR of the aircraft and or maybe even before we get to that um the r73 could actually be added to the mld guys uh, he actually used uh a mass service uh, alongside the r24s and the r60ms during the 80s you know this is even though an evolution from a mid 70s upgrade on the mig 23 it is pretty much the the, the mld variant is very much a, an 80s aircraft right uh, so, of course, uh, they upgraded to use the R-73. They even tested the um, helmet-mounted siding one uh, prototype, but eventually they just gave up the idea on upgrading the helmets on the MLDs because the objective was to produce as many HMSs as possible for the MiG-29s and SU-27. So, um, there was some proposed upgrades during the 90s for the MLD that was going to mass, in mass production use the HMS, but in general, just one in the 80s uh, was tested uh, with the HMS and R-73s. But in general, the R-73 was used as a missile in service in the Soviet Union. The thing is that, of course, it could only use two uh, missiles instead of the four, because it is a much larger missile, so it could use four, actually, but uh, with the R-24s, I mean, you know, using two R-24s, it could only use f uh, two IR short-range missiles, being the two R-73s instead of the four R-60Ms. Uh, so you would lose in the missile count, but you would get a much better missile than the R-60M, improving the capabilities of it. Or even use one R-73 and then using two R-60Ms to have, I don't know, maybe a, a mixed option there. Uh, the thing that we need to talk about at first is the, obviously the BR of it. Um, and it has a strange BR, guys. It is at a certain point in the matchmaking that it kind of, like, it is at 11.3, right? So, it is in the middle between the top tier and the lower tiers, which means that you get a lot of top tier matches with a lot of lower tier aircraft. And that's, I think, is the problem with adding this thing. Uh, with the current BR that he has, it's kind of a mix, you know, it, it is seeing a lot of F-15s, S-27s, F-16s, F-14s, um, you know, any fourth generation aircraft, which would be a very good, um, maybe, you know, way of just convincing yourself that maybe adding R-73 is a good option, but at the same time, sometimes it faces some down tiers, and on those down tiers, you will stomp, because you will face... Technically, you can't even pull some 10.3s. You're not gonna see too many of those matches, but it can happen. And if it can happen, it might happen. Especially if they add the R-73. Because then a lot of people will be flying with this aircraft, or more people. And then it would make for the matchmaking to just pull a lot more from below um, on the BR. So that it can actually, you know, maintain a, a good amount of players to not have a very big Huey time. So it's problematic, you know, to fight the fourth generation's top tier meta, I think the R-73 should definitely be added. But to fight F-4s, F-5s, MiG-21s, stuff like that, it's not a good idea, right? It really isn't. And it's not like the R-60M is a amazing missile for you know, in general, it is an okay missile, I think, and I I love to fly with it, but, you know, it's not the greatest missile ever, so, um, but it's not as bad as people say as well, so at the same time, it's pretty balanced to fighting third generation aircraft, very modern third generation, so, I think the real question here is, should they increase the BR of the MLD to actually have the R-73? Then it comes kind of to an up, like a, a, an opinion kind of matter, right? Because for my opinion, it's an 80s aircraft. So I think it should receive the R-73 to be like an option 
of a very, very late third generation aircraft that can actually fight the fourth generations. Just like the Kurunas kind of is, or the Jekai and everything like that. And with the MLD being what it is right now, right? Uh, so maybe I think it should actually get the, RC, the, the R73s. But at the same time, it, it is going to be not really a fair deal for the other third generations and down tier matches that you get with something like this so it means that maybe against the top like the top tiers it's okay but against the third generations from lower ranks it isn't meaning that maybe they need to increase the BR for it to have the R73 and then is that a reason for that it's not really what Gaijin normally does um, Gaijin normally just answers uh, they look at the statistics and answer those statistics with a solution uh, and the MLD is probably fine in the statistics right now right so it, uh, it means that it probably will not get it because it just doesn't need it right but the question at the end of the day is are we only getting things that we need in the game no we are not uh, because Gaijin always adds stuff that is not needed but it's cool to have it right so I think this is one of those uh, the MLD receiving the R73 would be a very cool option, even though it isn't like um, a very statistics-based, you know, change. But maybe increase the BR for 11.7 at least, so that he actually is facing more top tiers, uh, or basically 80s onwards aircraft, you know, aircraft, so that he can actually fully utilize the R73 where it should be actually utilizing for, right? So, I don't know, this is my opinion, um, and there are other options, you know, like, for example, they could add something like this, and then um, add another MiG-23, like a BIS, or something like that, between the, ML, the, the MF, that we, or the M that we have in the MLD, as a mid to late 70s version, with the R60Ms, and basically just being an MLA at heart, you know, or an ML uh, on the tech tree. And then these are basically all of these three becoming one fold that the guy doesn't need to grind everything, you know, to move forward on the tech tree. It's just for the really hardcore fans for the MiG-23 that can actually get it or something along those lines. I think it would be a very, very cool thing. But again, it's not really a needed option. It's not really needed. This aircraft is amazing. It can beat a, in a dogfight basically anything. Uh, so it's kind of scary to think about this aircraft with an R-73, especially at 11.3. But at the end of the day, like I said, we need stuff that it's cool, not only things that are needed. Uh, but yeah, this is my opinion on the matter. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, do you agree that the MLD should receive an R-73 or not? Let me know in the comments and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.